everyone, welcome to my channel, Everyday I'm Mothering, and our 31 Days of Halloween STEM Activities series. So today we are making monster balloon blow-ups. To do this experiment, you will need some baking soda, some type of spoon, and then some balloons. We used orange and red for monsters and pumpkins. Then you'll want at least one bottle. We had two, so each girl could have one. Then you'll need some white vinegar, some Sharpies to draw on your balloons, and then some funnels. I like to have a larger one for vinegar and a smaller one for the baking soda. Then our girls also like to have on their safety goggles. And I have a list linked down below with everything we use that you can easily find. Then the first step is to draw your faces on the balloons. These will lighten considerably when they start to blow up. So we found that we like to go back and draw a monster face on the balloons that did blow up. And we had results all over the place with this experiment. So make sure to watch all the way through so you can see which one that you liked and you'd like to replicate and see exactly what we did with it. The next step is to fill your balloon with baking soda. So you'll want to use a funnel. This is an example of how not to put the funnel in your balloon. You'll want to actually stretch it over the funnel and then you'll fill it up with baking soda. And we found going almost to the top of the balloon worked best. So you can pull it down and stretch it some so you can get the most baking soda into the balloon. Then you're gonna put your balloon onto your bottle of vinegar. Now, the trick here is to stretch it all the way down and over the top of the bottle and try to scoot it over so the balloon is in the middle of the bottle. And you wanna dump in all of the baking soda when you're ready for it to blow up. So you can see here, if you don't have it perfectly centered, it will start to fall over, especially if it's a windy day. And you wanna shake it so you get all the baking soda out of the balloon. So our girls kept running away because we like to make things explode over here and they thought that's what was going to happen. But really you need to sit there and hold the balloon steady so that it will blow up straight and it will actually stay up and blow up unless you want it to explode and then keep watching to see how to do that. as much baking soda as you can get, all the vinegar you can get, hold it steady, have it really centered over the mouth of the bottle, and this will happen. Safety glow was always on. <laughs> that was awesome. It sounded like a firework. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you can't do it. What did you do? Vinegar and baking soda mix together and make carbon dioxide gas, which fills up the balloons. The results were definitely more varied with this experiment than we were expecting, but that's honestly what made it so much fun. We never knew what was going to happen. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to check out the rest of the 31 Days of Halloween STEM Activity Series. Bye everyone!